Hello, I'm Dr. Abstract, the founder of the Zim JavaScript Canvas framework for coding creativity, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a two-time Canadian New Media Awards winner. The second time was for Educator of the Year. I'm a professor of Interactive Media at Sheridan College in Canada. The first time was for Programmer of the Year for my website called Dan Zen because I'm also inventor Dan Zen. Dan Zen is a large site that's been going since the 90s, has many games and gadgets, tools. There's an art tool called Opartica, which was the number one op art making tool in Google for 20 years. Until Flash died, <laughs> and most of the Dan Zen site was made with Flash or even Director before that. And so it's now treated as a museum. I'm well known in the physical world for my dancing and fashion parties. I had a half century celebration. Here are some of the things people have to say about me. These can all be found at the front of the Creativity Framework at creativityframework.com, which is based on the philosophy of nodism, which I founded. All object-oriented programmers are nodists, part of the nodist colony. We model life with simulations, games, artificial intelligence. Logical people modeling life are philosophers. This early part of my career can be found on Medium, a place where publications publish articles. <laughs> Recently, the last 10 years or so, I've been working on Zim, the JavaScript Canvas framework, which now has over 3 million views daily. It's used by people around the world to make apps. I know of at least three companies that have made over 100 apps with Zim and support workers. Zim is very easy to use for left brain and right brain learners. It uses the JavaScript Canvas, very popular programming language. It's all free and friendly. We have lots of support videos. We've gone through Zim versions 1, Duo, Tri, Fourth, V, 6, Hep, Oct, Neo, 10, but uh, we looked ahead a little bit to Lev, that'd be cool, and then version Doze, hmm, maybe not. <laughs> so we switched over to version Cat and considered doing three letter animals, Eel, Owl, Elk, <laughs> but there weren't too many. And then we saw an opportunity and that was with NFTs. A lot of artists, after the crash of Flash, Flash crash, hey, that's pretty good. After the crash of Flash moved to processing, they had already been moving to processing anyway, or P5JS now in JavaScript. Zim can do what processing does as well, but it has many more conveniences and components. So uh, we tend to make tools for making art. And we posted on Medium an article inviting artists to come in to use Zim for these things. Well, with NFTs, many people are making NFTs with processing, and we can make NFTs with Zim. So we named the latest version of Zim, Zim NFT. And it is indeed an NFT, which you could go purchase for 0.1 Tezo even. <laughs> We've made many interactive NFTs, which is a new opportunity, uh, both on Hicketnunk, uh, Tia, and on FX Hash. So uh, perhaps you would like to find those NFTs. They're quite interactive, unique, wonderful, an opportunity. We treat it some degree as educational, and so we haven't put high prices on those, but they are indeed art. I've been making this type of art for many years. Recall my op art making tool, Opartica. <laughs> so please find me there. And our next version of Zim will actually be called Zim version Zim. I also work in VR, virtual reality, as Dr. Abstract, 
I run pagoda scope parties. Our pagoda scope parties average between 100 and 200 people at the party. Please join us. This is in Altspace, Altspace VR. And there we have art openings for the NFTs. Things like the Time Lord watch bands or the Lens of the Lost. I made an interactive story across maybe six or seven interactive storytelling tools called the Meta Mystery. And that is about nano, nano AI. There's an NFT for that on FX Hash. But that as well is, was launched in Altspace. Unfortunately, the people that hang with us in Altspace don't buy NFTs. The people that buy the NFTs don't hang with us in Altspace. That's been to some degree, well, it's probably the story of any inventor in general. I'm a photographer Hollander Maui. Those people don't know <laughs> that I'm Dr. Abstract, <laughs> etc. It's been like that all my life. It's been quite exciting. A great ride. I would love it if you collected some NFTs, if that's what you do. One thing that's nice about NFTs, the people who collect them, well, it makes sense that they might want to promote them as well. We'd be happy to talk with any of you if we can do anything for you. Uh, we are available. We, <laughs> the, the royal we, Dr. Abstract, is available for you at zimjs.com slash discord or zimjs.com slash slack. All the best.